Hey y'all, so today I am here to go through my trash. Because everybody loves to go through the trash, right? No, I, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know who started these videos on YouTube, but I freaking love them. Like, I love empties videos. Um, they're like little mini reviews, and I, I just absolutely love watching people do them. So, I've got a huge, huge bag down here full of empties. And some stuff on the floor. So, anyway, we're going to go through all of them. I'm going to tell y'all what I think of them, when I repurchase them again. And, yeah, here we go. We'll start out. Okay, first thing is the Batiste Dry Shampoo for dark and deep brown hair. Okay, this is my favorite dry shampoo. Love Batiste. I've tried all kinds of things, and to me, this is my absolute favorite. Um, the only negative thing I have to say about this is... Yes, it's for dark and deep brown hair, but it leaves this dark residue, like, on everything. Like, in my hands, on the sink, definitely in the shower when I wash my hair. Um, and it just bothers me. I don't know. So, I love it for the way that it works. I just hate, I mean, you know, and obviously it's, it's for dark hair, but I just, I hate the whole residue all over everything. But... Yes, I would repurchase it and have before numerous times. Okay. Okay, next is the Marilyn Monroe Get Layered Sexy Hair. I got this at Ulta. They were doing like some special Marilyn Monroe collection. It says it's a flash dry thickening hairspray. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Like I would totally, you know, use it again. I used the entire can. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. Okay, next is a candle from Bath & Body Works. This is called Summer Boardwalk. Um, I don't know. This one, the scent says, like memories of the best summer spent at the beach. Caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream. Ugh, I did not love this. I, you know, I honestly found myself just trying to burn it and get through it. It's just, it's too cold you know, that caramel smell, which I don't, I just don't like it like over the top. Now I will say this thing, literally I had it in the kitchen and it, you know, literally lingered in my entire house. Like I could smell it all the way in the back of my house. So, I mean, for that reason, it's good. It just, it was just a little bit too much for me. So would I repurchase that? No, but I absolutely love Bath & Body Works candles. I've got tons of them and I will keep repurchasing them. Just not this scent. So, Okay. Next, the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. <sighs> I do like this. You know, I like it. Um, it just, yeah, it's just too expensive, y'all, to me. Like, for what you get. The, I mean, don't worry, this is like a little bitty sample size, which, but still was like $12. And this lasted maybe three or four washes, and then it was done. Like, I don't know. I just... I mean, to me, it's not that amazing to pay that much money for. But, I mean, yes. I, I think it's great. If it was a little bit cheaper, I would probably, you know, buy it all the time. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm looking for something else. I'm not, like, totally sold on this. So, so that's that. Okay, next is the Ulta Regular Nail Polish Remover Pads. Absolutely love these. These are $1.49 for three of them. They usually have them up there in the front when you're checking out in that little section. And um, I love these. It's like one little pad. One pad will get off all 10 nails. I would totally rather use this than just using some regular nail polish uh, to take my nail polish off. And yes, I will continue to repurchase these over and over and already have. So, those are good. Okay, another dry shampoo. Um, the Dove Hair Therapy Refreshing Care Volume Dry Shampoo. Oh, I didn't love it. It, you know, it was good for a dry shampoo. Now, of course, it's going to be white, which obviously I expected it to be, and it's hard on my dark hair to do very, very, you know, regular white dry shampoo. But, um... You know, I thought it was okay. It's got a very good smell, that typical, you know, really cleaned up smell, which I love. But, um, it was okay. I don't know that I would, like, run out and repurchase it by any means. So, 
that. Okay, next is the Studio 35 Nail Polish Remover with Argan Oil. I got this at Walgreens. Uh, this was, you know, it was a nail polish remover. It works good. It was cheap. Yes, I would repurchase it again. No, I'm not running out to again. I mean, it's just, it was, it is what it is. Uh, but it worked good. So, there's that. Okay, next is the Desi Designer Skin Angel Daily Moisturizer Kiwi Pear Fragrance. I ordered this off Amazon. Now, typically, they would, like, sell this in a tanning bed or something. And I've totally said I'm not tanning in the tanning bed anymore. So, I did not get it there. I ordered it off Amazon because I just, I love that whole designer skin brand. It smells good. Definitely has a kiwi pear kind of fragrance. Um, and it's good. Yeah, I loved it. So, I would definitely repurchase that again. And then to go with that, right here beside me is the Designer Skin Tiny Bubbles Tan Extending Body Wash and Bubble Bath. I used every drop of this. Absolutely loved it. This has a um, kind of bubblegum fragrance to it. Absolutely love this. Yes, would repurchase this in a heartbeat. Very good. Okay, next is the uh, Women's Shave Gel Dry Skin Relief uh, compared to Skin to Mint Dry Skin, the Up and Up brand from Target. It's just shave gel. They're all the same to me. I mean, I really have no, you know, difference in shave gels, but it's Target brand and it works and it was great and I will repurchase that and have numerous times. Okay, another dry shampoo. Okay, so this is the Batiste uh, Medium and Brunette. Okay, so the other one was the Dark and Deep Brown. So this is medium and brunette. So it's supposed to be a tad lighter. I like this a lot. This is probably my favorite. This is the one that I have right now that I'm using right now. I keep repurchasing it. So yes, I would totally, totally keep buying this. Um, it's just, to, I've tried so many jar shampoos. Y'all, to me, this is the best, the Batiste. And that's the one for medium and brunette. Hint of color. And like I said, it still has a little bit of residue, but nothing like the, the dark brown does. So, yes, love it. We'll repurchase it. Okay, next is the Chic Intuition Razor. Um, this is the one that has, if you can see right here, the little, it's the razor with the little uh, moisturizing bar around it. So, you don't have to use shaving cream with it. Uh, I like this. It's good. Uh, I still am not... There's no razor that I'm just, like, totally sold on yet. I don't know why, but I don't know. If y'all have anything y'all recommend, let me know. But this, um, it's good enough. Like, I like it. I would repurchase it again. Um, so, yeah. There's that. Okay, next we have the Kristoff Professional Hydrating Conditioner. I got this at Ulta. Um, this was good. I think I found it on sale. What is it? smell like it's been a while just got a very clean smell um I liked it I didn't love it but for the price it was good so yes would repurchase that okay okay next the Dove visibly smooth um deodorant I cannot, this is in the Wild Rose scent. Y'all, I have looked everywhere. I cannot find this again, and I absolutely love it. Like, if I could find this, I would buy it again in a heartbeat. It smells so good. Ugh, I love the smell of it. I love the scent of rose, but it just, it smells so good, but I cannot find it anywhere. I've looked at drugstores. I've looked at Target. I cannot find it, which, like, oh, it just kills me because this is really, really good. Like, really, really good. Now, as far as deodorants go, there's one deodorant that I am totally partial to. I will never, ever, ever stray from. It is the only thing that I ever, 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 ever want to use for deodorant. I mean, it is, it's crazy expensive, but it is worth every penny. I would pay twice as much for it. 
That's the Donna Karen cashmere wrist. Okay, so this retails, I think, I think some places 21, some places 24, which is absolutely outrageous. If you would have ever told me to pay $24 from see for some deodorant, I would have thought you had lost your absolute mind. Like, no, there's no way. But y'all, I'm telling you, there is no deodorant out there like this. I mean, I'm talking about you put it on in the morning, you do not sweat all day long, no matter what you're doing. It just, it's amazing. And the thing about it is, like, it sounds crazy to pay that much for a deodorant, but the, they last me over six months. Like, I would say six, seven, eight months for one tube. I mean, that's not that bad. So, yes, I'll repurchase it. This is probably my fifth stick of it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I do use this occasionally. Say I'm just, like, around the house not doing anything, whatever then I will use this, and I would repurchase this absolutely in a heartbeat, too. But, hands down, best deodorant ever, worth every penny, would pay twice as much. Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. Go get you some of that. Okay, next, the Red King Extreme Shampoo. This was recommended to me by my hairstylist. Love it. This is a great shampoo. I love the whole Redken line. I think it's awesome. Um, but this totally, to me, I have very, very fine, very, very fine thin hair. It leaves almost like a coating in your hair, which makes it, I don't know, just a little bit more manageable, I guess. Love this. Would totally, totally repurchase it over and over again. And have. Um, let's see. I probably have the conditioner with it. Yep. There's the conditioner. I have that. Love it. Definitely would repurchase and have numerous times. Um, okay, so these are some what are these? Hydro silk razor cartridges. Another razor. Like I said, I'm just I haven't found a razor that I'm just totally sold and in love with, but these these are good. Um, I keep, you know, reusing the razor with their little blades here. And these are good. Like, I mean, I'm happy with them. So, they work. They're good. Okay. Um, my favorite toothpaste. Chris 3D White. This is the Radiant Mint flavor. I've tried all kinds of flavors. And, yeah. That's my favorite toothpaste. Always good there. Okay. Now we're going to start getting some makeup, I believe. Um, okay, the Garnier five second, what is this? Five second blur, skin renew, instant smoother. This is very similar to the Smashbox primer. This is just a primer you put on before your makeup to smooth it out and give you a flawless finish. And um, yes, love it. Would repurchase it. I mean, to me, there's no difference in this and Smashbox. Like, you might as well just get this. It's a very cheaper alternative and think, I think works just as well. So, Yes, that's very good. Um, okay, some of this stuff I'm going to get into is just stuff I'm kind of getting rid of. Not necessarily empties. Sorry, my hair is all over the place. But, um, just stuff that either, like, I'm not using anymore. I uh, will probably either try to see if one of my sweet friends wants it or sister wants it. But, um, this is the, just some Victoria's Secret palette. Looks like it was from Christmas. Uh, yeah, I just don't even need all that. So, we're going to get rid of that because I have too many eyeshadow palettes. Um, okay, let's see. Another empty. Oh, my beloved. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Perfume, y'all. And this smells amazing. This, to me, is summer in a bottle. Like, that's what it smells like. It smells like Santan Lotion amazing. I get compliments every single time I wear it. I cannot believe I've been through the entire bottle, but I absolutely, I just love it. Ugh. Like, I almost want to save the bottle just to smell it. Like, it smells that good. So, yes, I will repurchase this. I think they actually come out with a different scent every year, maybe. I don't know. I think that's right. But, love, love, love. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Perfume. Smells absolutely amazing. Okay, some more makeup. 
makeup we're going to go through. Um, let's see. What is this? L'Oreal? I think this is L'Oreal. Voluminous. L'Oreal Voluminous. False Fiber Lashes Black Liqueur. Yes. Love, love, love this mascara. I like a drier mascara as opposed to a wetter one. This is the brush. This is, a, to me, amazing. Love, love, love it. I will repurchase it. I have numerous times. So, yes. One of my absolute favorite mascaras. Next is the Revlon Pink Pop Lip Gloss. This is totally empty. There's, like, nothing left on it. And for me to go through an entire lip gloss means that I loved it. So, that is just crazy. I've had this for a while. But, a Revlon Pink Pop. That is awesome. Love that. Okay, this I totally went through, which is crazy too. This is Estee Lauder Pure Color number 16 Candy Shimmer. And totally went through that. Just a very, very pretty pink. Totally used that up. Um, another thing I've used up is the this is Revlon. Um, just Fit and Kissable Balm Stain, and the color is 035 Charm. Totally used that up, and absolutely loved it. Like, I want this to work a whole lot. And it's just a really, really pretty peachy, peachy nude color. Beautiful, loved it. Yes, I would repurchase these numerous times. Okay. We're getting towards the end. Um, another perfume, Roberto Cavalli. Love this. This, I'll put the cap back on it. To me, also, once again, reminds me of summer, like straight up summertime. It's, it's strong, but to me, for like nighttime and summer, it's just absolutely perfect. And the bottle's absolutely fresh. Love this. Went through every drop of it. But definitely, it was something that I only want in the summertime. So. Um, this I'm getting rid of, yeah, and then I open it up and it falls all over me. This is a Victoria's Secret Luminous Blush Highlighter in Desert Star. It just, I mean, I'll give it away to somebody if they want it. I just have so many highlighters, and I just found myself that I wasn't using it. I don't know. It just didn't wow me. So, anyways, that's that. I'm gonna give that away to somebody. Okay, the, what is this, Lorac Front of Line Pro Eyeliner, absolute favorite eyeliner of all time. It's the little, I guess, felt tip. It's kind of flexible on the end. It is the best eyeliner that I've ever used. Absolutely love it. It's just in straight black. Yes, I would repurchase it. Yes, I have. This is my probably third tube of this. And yes, I will repurchase it in a heartbeat. Okay, getting to the end. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, that's not working. Um, what is this? This is the Sh Shiseido. Sun Protection Compact Foundation. Uh, this is a powder in SPF 60. Um, finally, I have had this probably three years. And I only use it in the summertime when I'm really, really tan. But there's pretty much nothing left of it. So, I'm going to go ahead and toss this. Um, it was great. I have it with that Shiseido Foundation. And um, works really, really good. So, yes. I love it. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. I mean, there's other stuff out there just as good, I feel like. And this is... I don't know, this was for like 30 bucks or more. Like I said, it was, I bought this three years ago. So, it's time for it to say bye-bye. Um, Sonia Kashuk Blush. Beautifying Blush in Flamingo. Beautiful color. Love the color. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's not, it's just, I just have so much. I don't know. There comes a point when I have to kind of get rid of some stuff. And it just wasn't, yeah, wowing me. So, I'll give it away to somebody if they want it. But, that is that.
Okay, Revlon, Color Stay Powder, and Medium. Um, honestly, this is too light for me. So, that is going to say bye-bye. I've had this for years, too. I've kind of carried it around in my purse, and I just literally, every time I use it, I'm like, yeah, this doesn't work. It's too light for me. I just, mm, it's, it's just not the good color for me. So, getting rid of that. Too Faced um, Cocoa Powder Foundation in Golden Light. Used every drop of it or every drop I could get out. Yes, I loved it. Yes, we purchased it. Um, it gives you this beautiful, um, soft, matte, glowy look. I just absolutely love this. I think I heard about this from Makeup by Tiffany D, I think. And um, yes, loved it. We'll repurchase it. When I run out of everything else I've got to get rid of. But yes, absolutely loved it. Would repurchase it. It was a great, great powder. Love that. CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This is in Soft Honey. Um, loved it. This is my probably third bottle of this. Loved it. Will repurchase it. Um, it's very similar to Revlon Color Stay to me, which I love Revlon Color Stay, and I think it's great. Uh, it lasts all day. Um, I love that it has the pump on it, and yes, 100% with the Beauty Blender. This is a great, great foundation. So that's disgusting, but yeah. Anyways, yes, we would repurchase that. Jordana Fabuliner in black. Get these at Walgreens. Yes, I'll repurchase it. Yes, I am already going to do that. That's like almost things to do. Jordana Fabuliner. Yes, we'll get that again. Okay, we're getting there. Let's see. Maybelline Define a Brow in Medium Brown. Yes, I like this. This reminds me so much of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I love this. Um, I think they go like they're they. Use, use up or we're done really really quickly but yes I would repurchase this again I have numerous times um love this so yes that's a good brow pencil let's see okay Maybelline Master Drama uh eye pencil and Midnight Master this is awesome y'all love 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 this is my probably fourth fifth sixth tube of this Love it. We'll repurchase it again. It's on my list right now to be repurchased. It's just a black, black, soft, beautiful eyeliner. Love this. Love this. Okay, Mary Kay Lip Liner in Raspberry. I don't really know why I'm getting rid of this, except that this is probably nine years old, if not older. My mom used to sell Mary Kay, so it's just really old, and so I'm getting rid of it, because that's just too old to keep using. Um, huh, this, Eva Night Up All Night Volumizing Spray. This came in my Ipsy bag. Uh, no, this just, I don't even know. Like, for added volume and texture, protect from heat, for all hair types. Da, 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 da. Apply to damp or dry hair before or after blood drying. I don't even know. Okay, so it says volumizing spray. So you would think like, okay, vol volumizing would be at the roots. Like we're gonna spray this up here. No, it's like oil. Like and it just leaves your hair oily, n nasty, mess. Like no, no. So no, I'm throwing that away. Okay, this I love Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. In neutralizer, love, love, love. This is my, I don't even know, probably seventh, eighth purchase of this, and I will purchase it again. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's, it's, I, I know a lot of people get freaked out with the sponge tip. You can take that off and just, you know, dot, dot, dot the concealer, but it doesn't bother I me. Mean, that just kind of stuff doesn't freak me out. But, anyways, love this, love this, love this. Definitely, definitely try this. We'll repurchase that over and over again. Um, Tarte 
Park Avenue Princess. I'm assuming this was a sample of their bronzer. Love it. I think I've had the full size of this before and then somehow ended up with a sample also. But I pretty much used all that until I couldn't get any more out. So we're going to toss that. But yes, I love this. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. I'm sure I can't get it to show up on camera. No, I can't. But anyways. Oh, Lord, there it goes. It's really, <laughs> it's really, really pretty. <laughs> Okay, NYX eyeshadow in Blame It On Midnight. I used every, it's got a little stuff in there, every drop of that. This is beautiful, y'all. This reminds me of Max Off Brown, which is an absolute beautiful color. It is a beautiful transition crease color. I used every drop of this just for that. I would wear it in the crease all the time, mixed with absolutely whatever, and absolutely loved it this is just a beautiful beautiful shadow so yes i would repurchase it i just have so much other stuff just like it that i'm not going to right now but yes love this this i'm gonna try to give this to somebody one of my little friends but this is smashbox pop of pink blush um i bought this in a set and I just, I don't know, I haven't loved it since the day I got it. And I don't know why. Like, it comes off on the finger really pretty. I mean, like, that's when I swatch it. But then, like, putting it on my, like, trying to wipe it on my hand. Like, literally nothing happens. Like, do y'all see this? Like, let me try it again. Like, okay, here we go. Here we go, that. And then I try to put it on my hand. And, like, nothing comes off. Like, it just, it doesn't transfer. And it's such a pretty color. So, I don't even know if I would give that to somebody. Because they would be like, why are you doing that to me? So, I just, I don't know. I don't love that. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of that. That's time. Okay. Uh, MAC Paint Pot in Nubile. I use pretty much all of that. There's a little bit left in there. But it is just, like, totally totally dried up so it's time to get rid of that I'm just going to back to Mac that so anyways that is that love this though I mean it's a beautiful I can't even swatch it because it's so dried up um just skin tone perfect perfect eyeshadow base so love that yes I would repurchase that again okay two more things that's it two nail polishes um which are just totally used up this is OPI, oh, Alpine Snow. Love, y'all. This is the most beautiful white. Oh, I love it. And I just have a little bitty baby sample. But I used him all up. So, time to get rid of him. But, y'all, this is a beautiful, beautiful, I just love white nail polish. Like, oh, I love it. So, yes, would repurchase that. It's beautiful. And finally is Orly Butterflies. And I have used this up until there's nothing left. And apparently it was 50% off. You know, there you go. But that was like a really, really pretty color. Just a pretty, corally color. And I've used that all up. There's no more left. So, getting rid of that. But that's all my trash. So, thank y'all for watching so much. And I hope y'all subscribe. And I will be back soon with more videos. Thank y'all. Bye.